100% rail and 99% a bunch of bananas hanging from a wall. Baby, it is the art world and we are just living it. So, everybody, how's it hanging? Oh, you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of museum puns today, right? So just buckle up and hang in there. It's a little bit corny, it's a little bit cheese balls, but you are with me. We are in rail space and rail time after a very long time of not seeing each other. So hi, welcome, thank you very much. Now, are you ready for a game show? Today, we'll be welcoming three contestants who will be vying for three possible jobs in a museum. Uh, an exhibition manager, a security manager, and a curator. Now, between you and me, I know almost nothing about these jobs. They just paid me to look pretty. <laughs> Anywho, let's bring in the expert. Please welcome Nasri Shah, a curator from the Malay Heritage Center. Andrew Lee, exhibitions manager at the Singapore Art Museum. And Alia Fadia Binti Maslan, security and safety manager from the National Gallery, Singapore. Yes, I'm a final year student doing my BA in Arts Management at LaSalle. Shout out to my classmates. Um, you guys might recognize me from my socials at Selena Says What and my baking account at Selena Bakes What. Back two of you, huh? Oh, yes, and this is my boyfriend Afik. Ah, introduce. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> and what do you do, Afik? Oh, um, I'm a photographer. And I also manage Salina's TikTok, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and her family's WhatsApp group. Uh, uh, Someone's a busy man. Uh, Becca, you look very beautiful today. Oh, thank you. Mm. A woman after my own art. <laughs> mm. So, Salina girl, give me yes. some tips. I'm trying to break into TikTok. Oh, okay. Your aesthetic, perfect. But with TikTok, you gotta get in on some trends, like all the dancers, like da da da, da na 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 na, right? Wonderful! Yeah. Uh, and you wanna be a curator, yes? Yes, um, I absolutely love the arts. Uh, you know, I wanna go for the openings, meet the important artists, the collectors, just be part of the ecosystem. Yeah, yeah and, and I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure you love the art too, right? Of course, I love art, our life, human condition, you know? <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, so the other day we were um, at McDonald's, man. West Coast. McDonald's West Coast. Then we saw a bird with its uh, wings broken and she couldn't stop crying. Yeah, I have what they call radical empathy. Yeah, Malays call it gembeng. Uh. Uh, are you here to find a job too, Afi? Oh no, 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 no. I, I'm just here to support her, so just pretend I'm not here, okay? Yes. Oh. Thank you, Selena and Afi! <laughs> Okay, let's welcome our next contestant, Chris! Chris, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing very good, Becca. So, Chris, siapa nama bapak kamu? Sorry, what? You, you, I noticed... You, bapak kamu. Father, kamu. father, father, father. Uh, I notice you don't have a family name. <laughs> a lot Is this of a Madonna artists. and Cher type situation? <laughs> a lot of artists actually, like Michelangelo, Rembrandt, Caravaggio, Titian, to Chris Banksy are all mononymous. I think when your work is so top-notch, <laughs> you, your first name just becomes your own personal brand. I'll tell that to Pasita, Abad and Georgette. <laughs> uh. hmm. 
I also think it's a statement yeah. about identity making and resisting patriarchal structures. So just Chris lah. Just Chris. Oh, tak ada bapak. Oh, anak yatim. <laughs> okay, Chris, and um, what do you do? I am a space artist. Uh, what's that? I look at spaces and envision how to give people an optimal experience while maximizing the per square foot utility of each space. Oh, so interior designer lah. I prefer the empty white cubes. Me. Oh. Is that your cat? Yes, I look at her through the camera. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like to be home alone, so I talk to her through the phone. How cute. So, Irene, how's it hanging? Huh? I, you cannot ask women this kind of things. Uh, I'm contractually bound, honey. Yes. Uh, I I'm hoping to get the job as a security manager uh, Follow in my father's footsteps uh, At home, very bored lah. <laughs> At least can see art, uh, <laughs> relax a bit and still get money <laughs> Hey, just now uh, outside uh, I, I saw this very big mural outside Very funny mural outside on the museum wall, you know I think it was uh, Michael Jackson Michael Jackson? Mm. Isn't he cancelled? No, Michael Jackson, Soya Bean and Chin Chow Mix. Oh my god! That <gasps> must be the new work of mysterious street artist, Tae yes! oh, Wait, but uh, hasn't he retired? Tae <laughs> You don't? He's like Banksy, but Singaporean. He paints huge murals of local drinks on heritage buildings all across Singapore. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's like a, a pointed commentary on the commodification, a glorification, personification of the Singaporean culture. He's one of our best, but no one knows his identity. So mysterious. Mm. Shall we get on with the show? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Contestants, say hello to the judges. <laughs> Mimi C. Space artist cadet, Chris. Or is it going to be our resident cat lady, Miss Irene Tsung? <laughs> okay. The first round, the security shuffle. In this hypothetical museum, you are all security managers. Your job is to get from the entrance to the exit of the gallery. Sounds easy, right? Mm -hmm. But be careful. There will be 101 different things that could block your way. It's a bit like Dungeons and Dragons, except instead of dungeons, it's a gallery. And instead of dragons, it's random obstacles, like crying babies. For content, right? It's 10 p.m. and the museum is closed. Okay, sure. You hear footsteps behind you. Someone taps you on the shoulder. It's a VIP. A very important patron, and he asks to be let into the gallery to see the artworks by himself. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Uh, okay. Well, I will first praise him for his resourcefulness, uh, for getting into the museum after office hours. Um, and then I will tell him, sorry sir, our floors are due for cleaning. And I noticed that he's wearing his very nice Hermes shoes. Wouldn't it be horrible if we got any dirt on them? And then, and then I will remind him that, um, sir, do you remember from the last exhibition opening, we had some bottles of champagne. Why don't I send some bottles to you as soon as I call you a cab? Ah, the good old ply him with champagne trick. <laughs> Um, you know, I used to work part-time at SQ. Everyone thought I was the SQ girl, but it's just customer service. You know, I used to be an SQ girl too. Every time oh. I ride the MRT, people would say, Excuse me, girl. <laughs> Excuse me, girl. Is it you missed the bus? <laughs> um, sorry, if I may add, maybe we can get the museum director to give the VIP a tour once the museum is open? Because, I mean, that's what he wants, right? A tour. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Great! Great idea. Judges! 
So first, I will think back on my security manager training and try to remember if there's anything in my manual about how to deal with these tricky group of visitors known as young people. You see, I wasn't so popular growing up. So if I approach them, they'll just think I'm weird and make assumptions and be like, Go away, Chris! Your Beyblades are lame! And so, the best thing to do is to grow up and be ten times cooler than them! Cha! 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 And so they'll be like, wow, Chris is so cool! Wow, I want to be Chris's friend! And I'll be like, yeah, sure, we can all share this place we call Earth! Nowadays, everyone's like, we can build this wall! Or like, don't cross that line! But I think the world is big enough for all of us. Okay. <laughs> that took an interesting turn. <laughs> Judges, what do you think? <laughs> 50 points! Oh. Thank you, Chris! Okay, Miss, 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 Miss Irene Sung, it's your turn. Bye-bye, Mimi. <laughs> i talk to you later. Okay, goals, huh? Okay. Um, the ghost, if the ghost don't disturb you, then you don't disturb. Mm. But if the ghost is a disturbing ghost, then you depends on what kind of ghost it is. If it is a Malay ghost, uh, then I will call the Bomo. If it is a Chinese ghost, uh, then I will call the Tanki. And if it is an Indian ghost, then we call the priest from temple or church, depending. Uh. But if it is an Angmo ghost, then no need to scare. Huh? <laughs> because Angmo Kui is not scary one. <laughs> but uh, if it is during Halloween, uh, then we, I will contact my marketing colleagues uh, and uh, tell them that uh, we can make a Halloween event. Uh, people will pay money to get scared. <laughs> then we pack up with the ghost, then everybody make money. No? <laughs> hey, that's actually a good idea, you know, like you turn your weakness into an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, ju <laughs> judges, uh, what do we think? 100 points! Thank you, Irene. At the end of round one, we have Chris bringing up the rear with 50 points. <laughs> Salina and Afik oh. with 100 points. <laughs> and tied at the lead is Irene Sung with also 100 points. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the benefit. <laughs> have uh -huh. you been there? Have you like been to the cells? Uh, yes, yes, I have. T tell us about your favorite ghost. Uh, it likes to, uh, you know, open and close the door at night, and when I walk past to go to my office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cheeky little ghost. Yes, very. <laughs> All right, Alia, tell us one one other thing. What is one of the greatest misconceptions about your job? Greatest misconceptions. Um, I guess a lot of people think that uh, security don't really do anything except for just walking around. But uh, walking around, they get, um, actually, um, exa example is, uh, you know, when this pandemic happened, mm. um, I, I'm also part of safety. So uh, we had to help uh, assist with the planning and with the safe measures and everything to ensure that um, the gallery is safe for the visitors as well as the staff that is working here. Lah. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. One round of applause for Alia, please. Okay, we are on now to round two. Pitch, please. In this round, you are a curator and you have to pitch your show to the judges. So earlier, we asked the contestants to plan an exhibition based on a random assortment of artworks that they were given. And actually, they're just random things we found in rooms. So please, ladies and gentlemen, don't judge. Now, they will, they will take their turns and pitch their exhibitions to us. They have to tell us, one, the title of the show, two, who the artist is, Three, the theme of the show or what this show is about. And four, the location or venue. The judges will rank the presentations from first to last with scores. So first, winner gets 100 points, middle one gets 50 points, last gets 10. But beware, 
there might be a few surprises. Are we ready to play the game? Yes. All right, first up is Irene. Irene, what were your artworks? Okay, so um, I got home, uh, dry flowers, um, a wedding dress, uh, a bag of used cotton earbuds, and uh, yeah, a Twisties curry flavor wrapper. So um, the title of my exhibition is Liang Po Po Great Expectations. So um, the theme of the show is like waiting and disappointment. So my show is like, uh, what if Liang Po Po is ready to get married and she has her wedding dress and all her flowers and everything, but then the, ha, the groom doesn't show up. So she becomes like stuck in time, you know? Yeah. Uh, and and um, also the, the place uh, will be, location will be in a small room, like a storeroom. So everyone has to come in one by one. Like that. Uh, who is the artist? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Maybe just put anonymous. Sorry, I have a suggestion. You have used cotton buds, right? Mm. Maybe you can use that to mark the days on the wall. Hey, good. Uh, interesting, interesting. Thank you, Irene. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Chris, your turn. <clears throat> uh, dictionary, marbles. Fairy lights, wigs, and a furry fake sheepskin rug. My exhibition is called Whisper Network. It's about secrets and memories. It will be put together by a group of artists whose works all pertain to queer identity. It will be a very sensory experience and should be located in... Cool. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Chris. Okay, last but not least, Selena. Gobi, gobi. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys! Um, so our items were stones of various sizes and some spit. Mm. Spit? Uh, yeah, like a pui. Huh? Spit. It's not very COVID friendly. Uh. Well, it is contemporary art. <laughs> Spit. Okay, so uh, my presentation. Actually, hold on. Can I just get Afik to present? Uh, why? Uh, because it's, it's, it's kind of gross. I get very squeamish. Oh, judges, are we okay with this? <laughs> yes? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the... All right, thank you, Selena and Afik. Now, judges, you have the power to select which exhibition pitch is the best. Who scores 100, who scores 50, and who scores 10? Is it Liang Po Po, Great Expectations? Is it the Whisper Network? Is it... But, but wait, 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 I did promise we have some surprises and it is now time for, for us to play the wild cards. The first wild card goes to Chris. One of your artists goes MIA on you. The queers are very emo. When you finally get hold of them, they say they can't finish their work in time. So, you bring them out to drinks and give them a little encouragement. Plus six points! Oh. <laughs> wow. Next, we have Irene. Your partnership team found you a sponsor. You now have extra budget, which you use to make your exhibition more sustainable. Saving the earth is cool. Plus six points! <laughs> And last but not least, wild card for mm -hmm. Selena and Afik. You forgot to plant chili and onion to ward off the rain. On official opening, points plus six. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have an actual curator in the house, and uh, we're, we're going to find out a little bit about being a curator. Everybody, welcome Nasri. You heard from him a little bit earlier. So, Nasri, how long have you been at the Malay Heritage Center? Um, five years, actually, yes. So, in, in your five years, I'm going to assume as a curator at the, at the Malay Heritage Center, what do you actually do? <laughs> so, um, you know, aside from uh, putting up exhibitions, as uh, you know, most of you have pointed out, we also uh, acquire things for what we call the National Collection, uh, which is actually a, a trove of uh, treasures uh, and prized artifacts uh, that actually belong to uh, Singapore. So, there you go. Great. And what... <laughs> In this round, there are three games. In this round, there are three games, and you are all exhibition managers. In this first game, there has been a mix-up in the shipment and you have the artworks, but not the artwork names. Can you match the title to the artwork? You choose the correct title from the choices that we've given to you, and each right answer is worth 10 points. Before you shout your answer out, you must raise your paddle and say, look, look in your box for your paddle. Before you shout out your answer, you must raise your paddle and say, I want to work in a museum. The person who does this the fastest will get, will get to answer. Are you all ready? Do you yes. have your paddles in your hand? Yes. Okay. Let's look at our first piece of art. Point, but you have the wrong artist. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, the oh. painting is This harmony. is the Vietnamese one. That, that would be correct. <laughs> Go have, you seen, have, have you seen the, the, have you seen the, the answers already? What is happening? No, no, no. Uh, I, I like art a lot. Okay. <laughs> Harmony in Green, The Two Sisters by Vietnamese artist Le Fa. <laughs> yes, Le Fa. Right. Next painting, please. Is this work entitled A. Drying Salted Fish B. Eating salted fish. <laughs> C, the vegetarian's dilemma. <laughs> or D, untitled. I want to work in the museum. I believe Salina. it's Selena. Yes. Oh, my answer is B. 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 Eating salted fish. Selena, I'm afraid to tell you that is wrong. The correct answer is A, Drying Salted Fish by Singaporean artist, Singaporean artist, Chong Su Ping. And we're on to our third work, now not a painting. Is this public work entitled A, Spice, B, Mala Hot Pot, C, Badas Badas, or is it D, Untitled, Parentheses. I want to work in a museum. museum. Salina, yeah, Salina, again, again, Salina Saleh. C, Padas Padas. And the answer is C, Padas Padas by Singapore artist Kumari Naban. We're off to our fourth work. Is this work our fourth work? Oh. 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 Is, our, is this fourth work entitled A, Joget Girls? B, five, six, seven, eight. C, Tumpang Lalu. Or D, Joget. I want to work in a museum. I believe it's Chris. I believe the answer is A, Joget Girls. Uh, incorrect. The correct answer is D, Joget by Malaysian artist Latif Moedin. I'm so sorry, Chris. And we're on to the last work of this round. Can we see it, please? Is this painting entitled A, Bull's Eye, B, Evil Eye, C, The Eye of the Storm, or D, Untitled, Octagonal I Red Gold? I want to work in the museum. museum. I, 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 believe, I believe it's Irene Tsung. Uh, the answer is D, uh, Untitled. That is correct. It is D, Untitled, <laughs> Octagonal Red and Gold, by Singaporean artist Anthony Poon. Very good. Next, in the next game, you will be able, we will, we will be testing your installation skills. Now, a good exhibition manager should be able to handle artworks and deal with tricky installations. Contestants, in your boxes, which you will not touch yet, 
in your boxes, you will find a bunch of plastic cups. You must, when we say go, you must stack the tallest tower, I repeat, the tallest tower of cups. The contestant with the tallest tower with the most number of cups at the end of 20 seconds wins. Are you ready? Yes. Don't touch yet. <laughs> On the count of three, one, two, three, go! In five, four, three, two, one, stop, hands up! Back away from your table. Okay, we're going to start with Chris. Uh, Chris, uh, I'm sorry to tell you that you were supposed to make one tall stack, not three that take up a lot of space. Uh, I'm sorry you're not the winner. Space. But round of applause for Chris, please. Creative thinking, huh? Very good, very good. Uh, next is uh, Irene. Um, this is not a stack. <laughs> it was it's, just now, it was a stack. Um, <laughs> this is not a stack, it's all good to say, so, yeah. Uh, Irene, uh, not the winner, but round of applause for Irene, please. Which means uh, the winner is <laughs> Selena Sade. <laughs> round of applause, please. So, at the end, <laughs> so that means Selena gets 100 points, Chris and Irene get zero points each. <laughs> All right, we are now, you, you may now move the cups back into that box and put the box on the floor. Thank you very much. Now, in the third game of this round, we are going to do some paperwork. Contestants, in your box, you will find uh, some paper and you must sign and chop five pieces of paper. You'll also find a pen and a rubber stamp. So, when we say go, you will sign and chop all five sheets of paper, and when you are done, you will raise your paddle, and you will say, I want to work in a museum, and the first one to do that wins the game. Everybody, okay. please put everything down. The game hasn't started yet. Salina, put on the pen. Salina, put on the pen. Okay, are we ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, go! Go big, go big, go big. Okay. Okay. I believe we have a winner and it is Salina Sale! <laughs> okay. Salina gets 100 yeah, points, right. both Chris and Irene get 0 points each. I am so sorry. <laughs> At the end of round 3, Salina has 200 and something points. <gasps> oh. I don't remember what she won the first round, uh, the first game. Uh, Miss Irene Tsung has, I believe it's 30 points. Round of applause for Miss Irene Tsung, please. And Chris, unfortunately, in this round has got zero points. Oh, well. <sighs> round of applause for Chris and the zero points, please. Yeah. <laughs> now, we actually have an exhibition manager in the room. Who knew? Will you please join me in welcoming one more time, Andrew Lee. Hello, everyone. Andrew, how long have you worked at the Singapore Art Museum? Oh, about seven years now. Oh, oh, seven years? Of which, how many of them was the museum actually open? <laughs> sorry, sorry again? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, what is the most difficult artwork you've had to install? Um, uh, there is a couple different artworks that we have to install, and there's some that, uh, I think one of the artwork that we have to install that, and it's really difficult is something like the stacking of the cups where we have to stack crystal uh, glasses from the bottom, uh, from floor to ceiling. So that was really, really scary and we have to, to make, it, make sure that none of the works are damaged and we can open in time. But did you break any of the glasses? Oh, of course not. <laughs> I wouldn't say. <laughs> 
<laughs> Andrew, tell, tell us, how would you describe your job to somebody who has no idea what you do? Um, we, we do have, I, I do have an interesting job. Uh, Besides from the paperwork where we have to stamp and chop, uh, we also work with the curators to um, work with the artists on the artwork installation. And it's never a dull moment because uh, contemporary artworks, they all come from different form. And when we have to install, it's all, it's back to zero because every artwork is different. Yeah, but okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-ask the question and put you on the spot. Andrew, you are at a dinner party. There is somebody hot you want to talk to and that person says, so what do you do for a living? How do you explain this in like 30 seconds? Wow, uh, I would just say that I will I'm work in the museum because it's a sexy thing. <laughs> yeah. Very good, Andrew. Thank you. Round of applause for Andrew and all our experts this, this afternoon. Now, ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, we've come to the final section of this game. There, are, there were actually, well, actually there are four people. Uh, they're beautiful, they're individuals, they all have fabulous life stories, and they are vying for, actually it's three jobs, so it's, it's Competition is not that tight, but you know, here we are. I don't know what kind of game we're playing. <laughs> anyway, we will now hear from them and we will invite you to help us judge and with applause at the end of this round. We will now invite them one by one to come forward and offer us a little speech about why they individually deserve the jobs that they are going for. Okay, folks? Okay, so their fates are now in your hands. First up, will you please welcome Selena Saleh and Afik Aziz. Thank you. Uh, hi guys, I would like to nominate my bae Afik to make this speech. <laughs> you, can, you can, you can do this. Uh, yeah, so as all of you are well aware, uh, Selena has a huge fan following. So that means uh, a greater um, interest in the museum and greater traffic to the museum. Yes, so win-win. Yes. And besides, when you pay for one, you get a photographer and influencer. Ah, that's so you get right. <laughs> Couple goals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, Selena and Afik. <laughs> Up next, Chris. I think that I should work in a museum because I just have a very intimate, special relationship with space. I, I hear the walls, I hear the floor, and I hear the spaces in between the walls okay. and the floor. And therefore, I have the best vision and ability to work in a museum. Thank you! Thank you, Chris. And last but not least, Irene Sung. <laughs> so, um, I would like to uh, have the job as a security manager. You should hire me because uh, I, I have used up all my skills, future credits. So, I am fully, fully upgraded to my best ability. Um, I will also be a... I have no other commitments besides Mimi. So, I will be fully committed to you. And I always wear only comfortable shoes. Uh, I will be a very good asset to the museum. Thank you, Ms. Irene Tung. Now, it's up to you. A round of applause if you think Selena should win. Okay. A round of applause, please, if you think Chris should win. A round of applause, please, if Miss Irene Tung should win. Okay, judges, 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 you've heard the audience's pick. Now it's your turn to announce the winner. Do you have a name? Actually, before you announce anything, I have something to say. Okay. I am actually not a retiree from Chua Chukang. Hey, wait, so Mimi isn't real? Oh, no, Mimi is real. 
Then who are you? You might know me as Tessy. <gasps> Tessy? Oh. You see, I've always loved painting, but my parents didn't want me to become an artist, so I had to do it secretly. Yeah, I first started with a huge mural of Te. Then I moved on to Kopi, oh. Milo. Slowly, I branched out to cold drinks. Bandung, soya bean, chin chow. Actually, I, I did retire. I, I thought I already hung up my spray cans. But today, when I walk past that beautiful white museum wall, I knew I just had to do my last masterpiece. What? My father's favourite drink, a Michael Jackson soya bean mixed with chin chow. That will be my last work. But you are the legendary Tacy. Yes, oh my god. Uh, we should do something together. Oh, a TikTok campaign. Uh, the real Tacy unfiltered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take the photos. Yes, oh. uh, actually, why don't you lead the campaign? Huh? But why? No. They say if you truly love someone, you need to set them free to run other people's TikTok accounts. You do it. Okay, thank you, we yes. Hey, actually, I have a lot of ideas, you know. Oh. We can take a lot of photos, like we do a food team. Oh. Can do uh, ketupat. Huh? Uh. Oh, cannot. Later, cultural appropriation. Oh. She's yeah. not Malay. Correct, correct. Yeah. We, we do, we do um, something. Uh, a kueh lapis. Yeah? yeah? The, the, the kau teng kueh, right? The, yeah. A lot of colours, very colourful. Oh, ming chang kueh. Is I think apam balik, is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, apam balik also we can, we can do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to prat. Guys! Prat. I have something that I have to announce as well. What is it, Chris? You found your father. Yeah. Who, who, where? Becca? Who? Oh. I am actually your long lost quarter cousin. <gasps> huh? What is a quarter cousin? <laughs> you remember your grandmother had a half sister? Oh, yeah, her great grandpa was like a really colorful guy. <laughs> I am her half-sister's grandson's step-brother! <gasps> Sorry, you lost me at half-sister. But damn, I knew there was something about you. All my life I've been searching for an identity, some kind of purpose. But over these months in isolation, I realized what I was craving all along was family. And so I took a DNA test and I found out about you. You are all I have. I would hug you. No, 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 no. But COVID! <laughs> Buy me dinner first, then we talk. Huh? Hey, so you are Chris DeBus, is it? <gasps> yes. Oh, yes! yes. At Chris DeBus! That's not, yes, that's, my not Chris that's, Chris that's not how it works! <laughs> but wait, uh. so do you actually want to work in a museum or not? Uh, actually, can I just say something? I feel like there's still so much about being a museum curator that I need to learn uh, about any job, actually, in the museum. Plus, I have my baking business still, so and I'm still in school. Correct. So maybe not, yeah. There's also a lot of things that we see that we do not know of, huh? Yeah. In the scenes. I think the museum has been in our hearts all this while. Uh. Oh. And I want to be a TikTok star! Ah, yes, I can help you. <laughs> Audiences, <laughs> what do you think? Should we give them the job? Job? Uh, Judges? So, 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 sorry, actually now uh, we don't have any vacancies in the museum. Uh. <laughs> oh. Manpower freeze. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just here for the free food. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys want to go check out the Georgia Chen Cho later? Sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thanks for joining us for today's episode of So You Wanna Work in a Museum? In under an hour, we've not only learned about museum jobs, we've also learned about art, and we've also found um, long-lost relatives, uh, created connections, and uncovered the identity of a mysterious gorilla artist. Thank you, everybody, and have a fantastic evening.
fantastic audience. <laughs> Good night.